Ezekiel 39 verse 17 and for a couple of these lessons we're going to get the um, the station announcement I don't know all the Bible I'll decipher what I can and what I can't and I'm in the wrong chapter There we go. Ezekiel 40, verse 27. And there was a gate in the inner court toward the south. And he measured from gate to gate toward the south a hundred cubits. And he brought me to the inner court by the south gate. And he measured the south gate according to these measures. And the little chambers thereof, and the posts thereof, and the arches thereof, according to these measures. And there were windows in it, and in the arches thereof, uh, round about, it was fifty cubits long, and five and twenty cubits broad. And the arches round about were five and twenty cubits long, and five cubits. Those who are saved, when we go into the millennium behind Jesus Christ with the nation of Israel, we're going to see all this. We don't need no Americans to go building, you know, like a stupid ark. I believe this is so, even though I have no idea some of the stuff I'm reading. I believe it. That's faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. I haven't seen this temple. But I believe it just as much as my salvation. And the arches thereof were toward the inner court and the palm trees. There's those palm trees again. I know that part. Were upon the posts thereof. And the going up had eight steps. <clears throat> so I assume those palm trees are engraved in the work. I don't think it's literal palm trees. And he brought me to the inner court toward the east and measured the gate according to the measures. And the little chambers thereof, and the posts thereof, and the arches thereof, were according to these measures. And there was windows, plural, therein, and in the arches thereof about. And it was fifty cubits long, five and twenty broad. And the arches thereof toward the outer court. So there's an inner court and an outer court. And palm trees were upon the posts thereof, on this side and on that side. So here and there. I understand that. And the going up to it had eight steps. And he brought me to the north gate and measured it according to these measures. The little chambers thereof, the posts thereof, and the arches thereof. So there's little chambers by the gates. There are the posts, you know, the columns by the gates. There are arches. And the windows to it round about. The length was 50 cubits and the breadth, 5 and 20 cubits. And the posts thereof toward the outer court, and the palm trees were upon the posts thereof, on this side and on that side. And the going up to it had eight steps. And the chambers, rooms, you don't need to change the whole Bible, oh, you don't got to put rooms. Put a side note in the margin, chambers, rooms. Entries thereof were by the post of the gate where they wash the burnt offering. So there are burnt offerings in the millennial temple, the law. And in the porch of the gate were two tables on this side and two tables on that side, here and there. They're in the burnt offering and the sin offering. So there's still sin in the millennium and trespass offering. Trespass is where God drew a line, said, hey, this is the line, and you cross it. You know, it, like, you go up, to, there's a fence that says no trespassing, and when you cross over that fence, you trespass. At the side without, as one goes up to the entry of the north gate, I would assume those are the stairs going up, were two tables on the other side, 
which was the port of the gate, were two tables. Okay, we got more tables. That's about as easy I can explain that. Four tables were on this side. Four tables on that side. By the side of the gate, eight tables, wherein they slew their sacrifices. Now, I believe Solomon had ten tables. And the four tables were, were of hewn stone for a burnt offering. So a piece of stone, granite, cut. Now you know these are not altars because the law forbid them when they build an altar to put any tool to the altar of the stone. But for the work of the of the of the of the tables, you can hew yourself out the stones of a cubic and a half long, and a cubic and a half broad, and one cubic high. I think that's about the, the size of the tables that Moses made. Whereupon also they laid the instruments where they slew the burnt offering and the sacrifice. And wherein were hooks and hand broad a measurement fastened round about and upon the tables was the flesh of the offering. And without the inner gate were the chambers, rooms of the singers in the inner court. So we're going back to the time that David set up that Solomon had for the temple. We have the heavenly choir of Israelites, the children of Asaph, and there were two others, I, I don't remember their names, they're going to be praising God and it won't be contemporary music, it won't be hillbilly music, it won't be bluegrass music, it won't be country music, it won't be rap or rock and roll. It'll be music not for the flesh, but for the soul and the praise and honor of God in Jesus Christ. And majority of the hymns in your typical hymnal won't be found played at the temple. You're not going to hear when the northern Yankees come down and save you soul. You're not going to hear, America the beautiful, because there'll be no America. A lot of Christians will be upset because their their music won't be there in the heavenly choir. We nothing but, you know, I can imagine Handel's Messiah being played. And David and Solomon are there together hearing it. And Asaph, listening to his family play. So, wait for that day, which were to the side of the north gate, and their prospect was to the south. I think that's looking to the south. And one at the side of the east gate, lead, having the prospect toward the north. And he said unto me, this is the man that has the measuring read, this chamber, whose prospect is toward the south, is for the priest. So there's the priest. The Levitical priesthood, not the Catholic priesthood. Keepers of the charge of the house, the temple. And the chamber, whose prospect is toward the north, is for the priests, for the keepers of the charge of the altar. The altar is back. These are the sons of Zadok. So you see in the Millennial Kingdom... You see David coming back. You see Solomon come back. You're seeing Asaph come back. You're seeing the sons of Zadok come back. They know who the Levites are. They know who Judah is. They know who Simeon is. And the Christians are back. And the apostles are back. It's a great reunion of the heavenly host and angels and seraphims of the nation of Israel finally right in the eyes of God. Their sins and iniquity, God said, I will wash and clean and remember no more. They have been given God's spirit and they've been given a new heart. 
and look at the great fellowship. And this fellowship jumps over into the new heavens, the new earth, and new Jerusalem. It says, sons of Levi. I doubt any of your Catholic priests are the son of Levi. Which come near to the Lord to minister unto him. And no one else is allowed. So he measured the court. A hundred cubits long. And a hundred cubits broad. I think that's the same measurement Moses. Of course, man, I can be wrong about that. And the altar that was before the house. So there's the brazen altar. There it is. Four square, that means it's square. So I doubt that's the measurement of but there was something to Moses that was a hundred by a hundred. And he brought me to the porch of the house and measured each post of the porch. Five cubits on this side, five cubits on that side. And the breadth of the gate was three cubits on this side and three cubits on that side. And the length of the porch was 20 cubits. And the breadth, 11 cubits. And he brought me by the steps, there's a, there's a stairs, which they went up to it. And there were pil pillars by the posts. So, a pillar differs from a post. And a post differs from the pillars. Remember, Solomon built two great pillars, and one was named Boaz, and I forget what the name of the other one was. And Moses had in his, he had posts, and they were poles that held up the fabric. One on this side, and the other, another on that side. And then we conclude another chapter.